Good morning. It is our first morning in Tokyo. The sun is shining. You can see. Can you see Tokyo Tower? I think it's Tokyo Tower back over there. What a glorious view we have here. It's pretty clean. It's just really small, so we've had to open our luggage here in the doorway because there's literally nowhere else for it to fit. Anyway, we just woke up. I would like to go just downstairs. They have Tully's Coffee, which is like, like a chain coffee shop, but apparently they do like a hojicha matcha latte. And so we really want to go try that. Well, I don't really want to go try that. So we're going to go down and grab it. And then we're going for brunch at 11. Excited to be in Tokyo. <laughs> Because I always worry that I'm going to get regular milk and then it's going to ruin my day. So that was kind of reassuring to know that, you know, you give it back and they're like, yep, it is my milk. So that was nice. But yeah, it's super cute. It's Christmas themed. And oh, look, it's got a little sticker. So <laughs> very cute. <laughs> we couldn't get the um, hojicha vista, wherever that was, because I can't swap that to Sogo. But we got this hojicha latte, so let's try. For our first day in Tokyo, we're meeting up for drinks with friends in Shinjuku. So we've decided we're just going to spend the day exploring this hugely popular entertainment district to see what it has to offer. Shinjuku is one of the 23 city wards of Tokyo and is the district surrounding the world's busiest railway station. It's where you'll find famous places like Golden Guy, Omoida Yokocho, the Skyscraper District and of course the infamous Kabukicho. Tokyo is absolutely huge and it's hard to know where to start with just a subway network looking this complicated. But as a rule of thumb, the Yamanote line holds the key areas that you've most likely heard of, including Akihabara, Shibuya, Harajuku, as well as this weird spelling of Tokyo. For us, Shinjuku was at the top of the list of places we wanted to explore, so that's where we're starting. Kabukicho, where you'll find this giant Godzilla head peering down at you, is an entertainment district within the ward of Shinjuku, known for its plethora of host and hostess clubs, nightclubs, bars, and love hotels. Nicknamed the Sleepless Town, Tokyo's red light district looks very different during the daytime, but don't let it fool you. This sign here translates to free information spot, but it's not an information center. Well, not in the way you'd think. This is the place you come to if you're looking for a very specific type of service and they'll point you in the direction of the nearest ones. Now, if you are planning on coming to this area at night, just be aware that there are certain tourist traps you should be savvy of. But more on that later on in the video. The posters you see around here are not of celebrities or artists. These are advertisements for host clubs. Host clubs are a specific type of nightclub in Japan where male staff entertain female customers, playing drinking games with them or just having general conversation. <laughs> Hostess clubs, on the other hand, are the female version of this, catering to male clientele. They're kind of seen as the modern version of geishas, entertaining groups of salarymen. After hearing about this, I knew I had to come back here at night time and see it for myself. So stick around for that later on in the video as well. Apparently all these hotels need to be I love hotels. And then, to top it all off, just past all the flashing lights, you'll find the love hotels. How are they different from regular hotels, you ask? Well, they accommodate short stays, even for a couple of hours, and they're specifically designed for, well, love. 
completely anonymous food service and check-in, all the amenities you could ever need, complimentary karaoke, and of course, soundproof walls. We headed to the western side of Shinjuku Station to catch up with Kay's uni friends over brunch, before heading to Shinjuku Station to meet up with some other friends. We were meeting them on the eastern side of the station, which you wouldn't think is far, but this station is obnoxiously large, so it took us 20 minutes and a lot of wrong turns to finally find them. I really regret not buying anything here. Beams is a super popular apparel shop in Japan, but this store here in Shinjuku is six floors and has a wide range of unique products and artwork that can't be found in their other stores across Japan, <laughs> including an art gallery. Snacking on some melon pan in Shinjuku. Golden Guy is perhaps the perfect place for bar hopping, as these narrow alleyways are filled with hole in the wall bars serving cheap drinks in tight spaces. Obviously nothing is open yet, but this is what they normally look like. If we had the chance, I would have loved to spend a whole night izakaya hopping my way through these streets, but not tonight. way to where we had planned to drink tonight, it struck me how, despite the surreal amount of people that there are around, it was very orderly. And not only that, it's surprisingly quiet. You'd think it would be super noisy with this amount of people, but actually it's just the electronics and the car noises. When you take those away... Anyway, that's probably only the case until the drinks start flowing. I actually love the drinking experience in Japan. Most cheap izakayas will offer either unlimited drinks or unlimited food. And it's cheap, so you often end up going to more than one place. And when you're done with that, the night is far from over. The streets are full of people, and there's so much to do. We then headed for some karaoke, where we were offered another nomi holiday, and then we hit up an arcade. That's more upstairs.
This was such a throwback. Purikura are booth photos popular with young girls in Japan. I don't know if it's because I've matured or if the machines have changed, but they just look really creepy now. And this is Shinjuku at 1am. The only downside to nights in Tokyo is that trains run until 1am, even on Saturdays. That's why places like Omoida Yokocho, or as it's more endearingly known, Piss Alley, which caters mostly to salary men, closes at around 1am, in time with the last trains. The other common option for younger people is to stay out all night and then take the first train home early in the morning to avoid paying for a taxi. Alternatively, if you're a tourist, if you plan on staying out late, book your accommodation close to where you plan on drinking. We decided to just walk home, but this meant that we had to walk through Kabukicho at 2 a.m. in the morning, much to Kay's dismay. So this is the same place as before, but at night time. It's like past 1 a.m. So, so different. Now I should probably mention why Kabukicho is considered a bit dodgy of an area at night. Many legitimate places advertise their businesses with staff standing out the front to bring in customers off the street. You see this all over the world. Unfortunately, in some cases, these staff may lead you into what appears to be a regular izakaya bar or club, but when the bill comes out, the price is way higher than it should be. You may try to contest the price, but in most cases, you will have to end up paying the bill if you want to leave peacefully. A more sinister alternative that unfortunately happens is that drinks get spiked and the customer's cards are used to pay for crazy club and partying expenses. But unfortunately, there's no way to prove that you didn't approve these transactions. Our advice to avoid these kinds of situations, don't follow staff on the street, no matter how enticing it sounds, and visit places with many locals because they'll generally know which businesses are legitimate. But overall, Tokyo is a pretty safe place at night. Just make sure you use your common sense and you'll definitely have a fabulous time, just like we did. Okay, see you next time. Bye! It's 2 a.m. We're at 7. Just got some oh, for tomorrow morning and some yakisoba. And they're currently heating it up for me over there in the microwave. How awesome is that? And they also have hot water if you want to buy like cup ramen.